Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Lockdown Six World. Today we talk about Song Weiling's uh, twice US visit and the total differences in her reception. Let's see what happened there. Song Weiling was a figure uh, of very well known in China. One of the three Song sisters uh, that's so influential in China's modern history. Song Ailing, eldest sister married to Kong Xiangxi, the head of uh, State Council of Republic of China and uh, the director of a central bank. Uh, Song Qingling, married to Sun Zhongshan, also named Sun Yexian, the founder of Republic of China. Uh, Song Meiling, married to Jiang Jieshi, also called Jiang Kai Shek, a former supreme leader of uh, the China's nationalist government. During the Second World War, Song Meiling, as China's first lady, visited America twice. One was in February 1943. The second time was in November 1948. They separated by more than five years. For the first visit, and she was treated as a VIP and the center of uh, attention. Not only uh, lived in, in the White House, but also invited to make speech in U.S. Congress. It's a very popular in American public. Yet for the second time, and she was almost uh, like a person non grata. All the U.S. government officials tried to uh, avoid to meet her, and, and uh, even included the president and the state secretary. She was unwelcome wherever she went, and she herself also perceived the coldness and the vicissitudes of the world and of uh, the America. At the end of uh, 1942, Song Meiling felt unfit and flew to America for treatment and also recovered after several months rehabilitation. Uh, concurrently, America and the Allied forces and waged serious uh, military operations in North Africa and the Mediterranean Sea. In Asia Pacific, uh, the Battle of Midway, the U.S. Navy destroyed four Japanese uh, carriers and took the upper hand. In China, more than one million Japanese troops were brought down in the battlefield. Yet China also urgently needed assistance from America, and further cooperation would be needed for the two countries. Uh, Washington uh, initially planned to invite uh, Jiang Jieshi to visit America. Yet China's war uh, was in a critical phase, and Jiang couldn't leave. So he decided his wife, Song Meiling, to make the state visit instead of him. Song Meiling uh, had been educated in America and knew American culture very well. She uh, was elegant and charming in Chinese uh, traditional gong, qi pao, and Washington uh, treated her visit very seriously and uh, arranged her to stay in the White House. And President Roosevelt also accompanied with her to the news press of 170 uh, journalists, which uh, did her a uh, great honor to her presence. Song Meiling uh, soon caught the affinity from the President and the First Lady by her subtle manner. When they first met, Song said to Elena, the First Lady, I seldom uh, Envy people, yet you looked so perfect that makes me jealous. That compliment did work and brought them closer. To President Roosevelt, she did some uh, research work too. She knew uh, Roosevelt was a philatelist, a uh, fan of stamp collecting, and he uh, had almost one million stamps. So no matter how busy he was, he used to glimp over and his stamp albums before going to bed. China was in war and uh, shot of uh, good stamps then. And uh, some people reminded her that uh, in Shanghai, in the archives of former post office, there were four sets of earliest uh, dragon stamps that China issued. She sent the agents to steal them back and uh, presented one set to Roosevelt. And the president really liked it. She was uh, invited for a speech uh, in U.S. Congress, which was her high time and caught uh, the attention of the world. Uh, in fluent English, 
and she I mentioned the US pilot landed in China after bombing Japan and being rescued and escorted uh, to a safe place by Chinese people. She expressed uh, China's resolve to fight the Japanese to the end. Her speech uh, was a great success and the wars interrupted uh, by uh, frequent applauses and uh, greatly impressed American public. Yet this image of perfection was deemed with time and uh, defects. Uh, though elegant and noble in public, uh, but in private, it's uh, selfish and crude. And more negative information uh, leaked even during her stay in the White House. First, uh, about her disrespect to the room service in the White House. Uh, in her room, uh, there were bells for calls to needs, yet uh, she didn't press the button and only uh, clapped her hands whenever necessary as before uh, in China, which was regarded as a disrespect to the service people. In her guest room, I was provided with a linen sheet, uh, which was a little bit rough to her because she was not used to it and had to change several times with the silk uh, bed coverings that she uh, brought with her, uh, which made more extra work uh, to the housekeeping and brought complaints. She had a habit of smoking and only for some uh, special brand of English cigarettes. So during her stay in America, this cigarettes had to be purchased from England and after four uh, free import tax. China was in war and in uh, hot times. Yet the first lady enjoyed her luxury in America, to which the American people felt uneasy. During her stay in the White House, Song Meiling uh, invited some Republicans to her residence, and the president was a Democrat, so more or less, and he felt unpleasant uh, about this. Even there happened once that when they had their meal, President Roosevelt uh, read newspaper and saw the news about American miners' national strike. He felt tough to deal with it and asked the Song Meiling by the side, uh, what would be done if this happened in China? After hearing this, uh, without any hesitation, he showed a gesture of cutting throat like a killing. Later, the president asked Elena, did you see uh, the gesture your good friend gave? Uh, is this your good friend? In the later days, uh, some grudges also happened between Elena and uh, Song Meiling, and the first lady uh, even uh, wanted her to leave uh, the White House early. That even with uh, something unpleasant happened, her first visit was successful, and America continued to provide military and economic assistance to China against uh, the Japanese. And Jiang Kai-shi appraised his wife the diplomacy worthy of 20 divisions. Yet Song Meiling's uh, second visit was totally uh, another different story. Song's uh, second U.S. visit uh, was in November 1948, that almost at the end of China's uh, civil war, with uh, nationalist troops routed and uh, its government uh, shaken. After three military operations, Kuomintang's government lost most of its armed forces and plan to keep uh, its control by dividing China uh, at the Yangtze River, to which the Soviet government agreed. Yet the Chinese communists insist on liberating the country nationwide. In uh, such a jeopardy, Chiang Kai-shek again resumed the First Lady diplomacy, hoping more American assistance or military interference in China's civil war. Yet uh, Truman's uh, administration focused on uh, Europe and very disappointed uh, to John's regime. For the tremendous assistance from America was abused or taken uh, by China's nationalist high officials. Meanwhile, the well-equipped and uh, nationalist armies were defeated by communists and finally fled to Taiwan. Song Meiling came to America for personal trips instead of being invited, and almost none of U.S. Uh, officials came to greet her. For her residence, she just stayed at uh, General Marshall's homes as personal friends. And Marshall himself was uh, hospitalized for operation and unwilling to see her. 
President Truman said he had no time. And after 10 days of waiting, uh, they had talk for only half an hour. During their talk, Song asked for more assistance and was denied directly by the president. Truman said America had provided China for more than uh, four billion US dollars and had done its best and no more further help. Uh, in the days she stayed in America and very few US officials uh, visited her and the drastic differences uh, from last time greatly upset uh, Song Meiling. And with the failure of her mission, uh, she temporarily uh, retreated to her big mansions in Manhattan and rather than returning to China immediately. Then what did her story tell us? First, that it is interest relations that matters among nations and personal influences has its limit. That whenever the national interests work together or need each other, then the uh, two countries are easily to be friends. And any other personal charisma or influence might do some help. Yet whenever the circumstances or interests change, or the power differ, then the foreign policy changes will surely follow. And personal uh, diplomacy helps very little, and uh, no other difference in reception. Second is America is a country that focuses on pragmatism or interest, which is the first priority of our American foreign policy. Above any uh, principle, many of our American allies and uh, friendly countries are not those with democracy or free election. Uh, yet if they conform to American interests or do not go against America, it is okay. But if U.S. interests hurt, then they would be given away. So America had given up mainland China before. It might give up China's Taiwan right now or in the future. Though in 1949 uh, it lost China, it didn't consider to get further entangled in China's domestic affairs or military meddling, for it was far above America's Capability. China's business is better done by Chinese people themselves. Today we uh, talked about uh, Song Meiling's twice US visit and the differences in her reception. Hope's story can teach us something. Here comes the end of today's program and thank you for your watching and see you next time. Thank you. Bye.